In this tutorial, we will be discussing surface tension, viscosity, and capillary action. The surface tension is a liquid's resistance to increase its surface area. Liquid spontaneously seeks to minimize its surface area. If you see here in this picture, we have a molecule surrounded by several different other molecules. That's what these lines here are representing. These are intermolecular forces that are keeping it together. If we look at the surface, there's fewer interactions. And so a molecule is trying to create as many interactions that it's, as it can. So therefore, it's going to try to decrease the surface as much as it can and get more that are in the center. To minimize the surface area, liquids form drops that are spherical because that's what has the least amount of surface area. The surface tension is the energy that is required to increase the surface area. So it's the amount of energy it takes to make the surface area bigger. Energy required is directly related to the type of intermolecular forces within a liquid because of the fact that it's related to how strong those are. The greater or the stronger the intermolecular forces, the greater the energy required to increase that surface area. The amount of energy it takes to break this interaction and push it towards the surface, increasing that quantity. To give you an example, H2O has hydrogen bonding. It takes 72.8 millijoules per meter square of room temperature to break that surface tension, whereas benzene here only has dispersion forces or van der Waals forces. It only takes 28. Because the van der Waals forces are so much less than hydrogen bonding, it's going to take less energy to create that sur to break that surface tension. As the temperature rises, the surface tension is reduced. This is because of the increase in kinetic energy of the molecules. The molecules are moving faster and moving around more. Therefore, they already have the energy there to break those intermolecular bonds. Capillary action is the spontaneous rising of a liquid in a narrow tube or movement of a piece of paper against the pull of gravity. Notice here, they're testing somebody's finger and they're taking the blood from the finger. There's no suction thing bringing the blood up. It's going up automatically on its own, and that's what capillary action is. Capillary action is the result of two forces working together, cohesive and adhesive forces. Cohesive forces hold the liquid molecules together, so this is to one another. where adhesive forces attract the outer liquid molecules to the tube surface. So this is the attraction of the molecules of the liquid to the container. The shape of the meniscus indicates whether or not there are similar polarities. The curving of the liquid surface in a thin tube is due to the competition between adhesive and cohesive forces. The meniscus of water is concave in a glass tube because the, adhe the adhesion of the glass from the water molecules to the glass is stronger than the cohesion, cohesion to itself, so the molecules to one another. The meniscus of mercury is convex in a glass tube because the cohesion to itself, the mercury molecules, mercury atoms themselves, is stronger than that of the attraction or the adhesion to the glass. In other words, metallic bonds are stronger than the intermolecular attractions to the glass. The movement of water on a piece of paper depends on also the hydrogen bondings between the water and the OH groups of the cellulose in the paper. Chromatography is an example of this. It separates the components of a mixture by the, their distinctive attraction to the mobile phase 
and the stationary phase, so how much it wants to go up the paper. Finally, let's discuss viscosity. This is the measure of the liquid's resistance to flow. So the phrase slow like molasses. Well, molasses is very viscous. It moves rather slowly. This is the energy required to move an object through a fluid. This is also affected by temperature. As temperature increases, the liquid's viscosity decreases. The molecules are moving faster and is allowing things to move through it more easily. The size of the liquid's molecule also plays a role in this. The more complex larger molecules, the more viscous and the greater entanglement, the less things are going to want to go through. And that gives you a description of surface tension, capillary action, and viscosity.